Welcome to All Life Mass TV. My name is Jix Anemo. And in today's class, uh, there is a video I produced in my previous uh, classes. And um, it's an Olympiad mathematics question. And the approach I used was questioned by some of my subscribers. Okay. And uh, first of all, I want to thank my subscribers for uh, that good observation. And when it is pointed out, I said, okay, I will use a different approach. Though the answer is correct, but the approach is not in order. Hence, I want to produce this video again. I want to reproduce it. Okay, now, this one I want to produce now, you can compare it with the previous one. It is showing up here now. Okay, it is showing up here now. You can equally watch it and know the difference between the former one and this very one I want to uh, produce now. I want you to adopt this very one I want to uh, put in here now because after much research, I, I saw the flowers in it. And like I keep telling you that in this channel, we are here to learn from the uh, best brains around the world. That's why I always encourage you to um, point out my errors if there is any or if there are any uh, because we are not... Uh, uh, perfect at times we make mistake in the process of solving so your criticisms are welcome your um, other pattern or other means of solving our uh, mathematical challenges are also welcome okay we are here to learn from you even as you are there to learn from us to to strike a will-win balance so with that being said let's go into the challenge but before we go also if you are new to this channel Kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop on some video because we drop video every day in this channel. So let's take the question and see what it says. The question says, if 3 to the power of x equal to 7 to the power of y or equal to 441, what then would be the value of x, y all over x plus y? Then, let's take our solution from here. Then we have solution solution we put down our question and the question says 3 to the power of x equal to 7 to the power of y equal to 441 now from this expression it is clear that 3 to the power of x will be equal to 441 at the same time 7 to the power of y will be equal to 441. So let's go ahead and write it down here. So we have here 3 to the power of x equal to 441. Let's take this as our equation 1. Then also 7 to the power of y equal to 441. Let's take this as our equation 2. Now that we have this expression here now, what if I decide to eliminate x and y from here? It sounds means I will multiply the equation 1 power by 1 all over x and equation 2 power by 1 all over y. By so doing, this will leave the system. Okay, so let's proceed. This will now give us from equation 1. Let's take it down from equation 1. We now have this to be... 3 to the power of x times 1 all over x equal to whatever we do to the right hand side, left hand side, we must do it to the right hand side. So this will also give us 4, 4, 1 to the power of 1 all over x. All right. Now we can put this in bracket. Okay. Then from here, you're going to discover that this x will cancel this x. And so this will now give us. Let's proceed from here. Okay. So from here, this will now give us 3 equal to, yeah, we're going to have here 4, 1, 1, all to the power of 1 all over x. Let's give this equation 3. Okay. So if we turn this equation 3, we do the same to our equation 2. So from equation 2, from equation 2, we do the same thing, which is 7 to the power of y times 1 all over y equal to 4, 4, 1 to the power of 
1 all over y. All right. Same thing will also happen here too. So dx, we cancel dx y here. So if we cancel out, these are now left with 7 equal to 4, 4, 1 to the power of 1, 1 all over y. So let's give this our equation 4. Okay. Now, let's take a look at equation 3, our equation 3 and equation 4. What if I decide to multiply equation 3 and equation 4? What would that give us? So let's put it down in writing. Here we have say multiply, multiply equation 3 by equation 4. Okay, so let's do that and see what will be the result. Our equation 3 is 3, then times 7 equal to, here is going to give us 4, 4 to the power, 1 to the power of your 1 all over x times 4, 4, 1 to the power of 1 all over y. From here, we're going to have here 21 equal to, look at the basis are the same. And according to the law of indices, said if we have something like this, if we have a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this will give us a to the power of m plus n. This is a law in indices. So from this law, our a is 441. Our m is 1 all over x. The a 441 on this other side. The n is 1 all over y. So we have to add the power. So let's sum up this power. So if we do that, dx will now give us 441 all to the power of 1 all over x plus 1 all over y. Wow. Now, Take a good look at this 441. This can also be expressed as 21 to the power of 2. In other words, 21 times 21 will give us 441. So we can rewrite this expression as 2, 1 equal to 21 to the power of 2 or into... If we go ahead to simplify this, the LCM of X and Y is going to give us here x, y. Use x to divide, divide the LCM. This will not give us y will be left. y times 1 will give us y plus use your y to divide this LCM. That will give us x. x times y will give us here x. Close bracket. Okay. Now, take another look at this expression here now. We have the base here to be 21. We have the base on the right-hand side to be 21. This we can equally put as all to the power of 1. And there is another law of indices that says that when the bases are the same and you have an equality sign, what do you do? There, the bases will take care of themselves. In other words, this very one will strike out this one. Okay. So if we strike out this, we are now left with 1 equal to your 2 into your xy. Okay, because y plus s can equally be expressed as x plus y, close bracket, all over your xy. Okay, because when the bases take care of themselves, then we cannot equate the power. So this is the power to this. This is the power to this. So when we equate the power, this will give us this. So let's proceed from here again. Divide. Divide through. Divide through by 2. If we do that, the expression will thus give us 1 all over 2 equal to 2 bracket your x plus y, close bracket, all over x, y, okay, all over 2. 
So the two on the left hand side, the numerator and denominator will take care of themselves. So we are now left with one all over two equal to bracket a pin x plus y close bracket all over x y. Now, if we look at our question very well, we are asked to look for x y all over um, x plus y. So what we do here is to find the reciprocal of this, or we cross multiply, then divide by 2 again. So if we find the inverse of both expression, this will automatically give us yeah, 2 equal to your x, y, all over your x, x, blocks, blocks, y. Okay, but before we continue, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop wonderful video like the one you're watching right now because in this channel we drop new videos every day so let's continue all right so if we have this this thoughts implies that your x y all over x plus y equal to two and this is what we are asked to look for q e d very simple now, like I told you in the previous video, I got the answer to, okay, your x, y, all over x plus y is equal to 2. But the procedure is not in order, okay? Like I told you, you can equally watch that same video so that you draw a comparison between the two and know where the error lies. I could as well have taken down that video, but I want you to um, uh, get something from it. In other words, not where I made the mistake, okay? So that in subsequent questions, you will not fall prey to such errors. Thanks to all my subscribers who have uh, really observed this thing and they pointed it out. And like I keep encouraging you, whenever you see an error in my solving or mistakes in my um, solving, always point it out in the comment section. But at the same time, if you have also gained so much values from our videos, also drop it in the comment section. But I say thanks, Jay, okay, to encourage us because we are here to strike a will we ba balance, okay? Remember, my name is Jakes and I love you so much. And also, all of us at Online Mass TV love you. Thanks for your time. God bless you. Till some other time. Bye for now.